Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this text changing button to your Blogger website. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to create this button from scratch. So, if you want to learn how to create this button from scratch, you can watch the previous video. I will leave the link in the description of the video. And also the source code of this button will be in the description of the video. So, you can just copy and paste the code. So, let's get started. Now, this is the dashboard of our blogger website and uh, this is how it looks. Now, let's go ahead and add our uh, button to one of these posts or we'll just create a new post. So, let's click on new post and uh, I'll just go over here to compose view and uh, let's add some text. So, here I am in this website called lipsum.com and I'll just generate some random text. So, we'll just generate five paragraphs of text and uh, let me just copy this. Let's copy this till here and uh, let's go ahead and add the text over here and uh, let's add the title. Right now we'll add the text changing button over here after this paragraph. So let's add a line break over here and uh, let's go to the HTML view. So click on this button and uh, then click on HTML view. So here we can see this is the line break that we just added. So after that, let's add the HTML code. So let's go to the source code and uh, the source code will be available in the description of this video. So I'll just copy this uh, anchor tag from here and uh, I'll paste it over here. All right, that's it with the HTML. Now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm. So our text changing button has been added to this post. Let's go ahead and view it. And here we can see we have this button right here, but we cannot see it because uh, there's no text in that button right now. We have to add the text using CSS, but in the meantime, let's right click and click on inspect. And uh, let's check whether we have the button. And uh, here we have the button right here. And I think we can remove the line break from here. So let's go ahead and remove the line break. Because when the paragraph closes, uh, we already have a line break. So I'll just remove this from here. Right, let's click on update and go back and uh, let's refresh this page. All right, now let's go ahead and add the CSS. Now you can add the CSS in two different ways. So you can go to theme and then click on customize and then go over here to advanced and uh, then click on this drop down and click on add CSS and then add the CSS right here. Now, if you cannot find this uh, option right here, then you can go back, go to theme and then click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And now you can add the CSS right here in the theme code itself. So let's go to the CSS and uh, let's go to the end of all the CSS. So this is where the CSS ends. So let's add a comment text changing button and uh, let's go to our CSS and uh, let's copy the CSS from here. So we don't have this buttons container in our uh, HTML. So we'll just copy from here till here and uh, let's paste it over here. Now, if you want to make any changes, you can make the changes right here in the CSS. So you can change the text of your button. So we'll just change it to test and uh, click. So we'll just change completed to click. And then you can change all of these options over here. You can change the color of the button right here. And, uh, and you can update all these properties over here. But I'll just keep everything else as it is. And uh, let's click on save. Right now, let's go to our post and uh, refresh our page. And we can see we have this button right here. But we have some problems in the CSS. Let's go ahead and hover over this and let's see whether the text is changing. So the text is changing, but uh, we have some problems in the CSS. So let's right click and inspect. And here we have the button and uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what is the problem. Now the anchor tag doesn't seem to have any problem. So let's uh, open that. And in that we have the before and the after. So for the before and the after, we have some margin on the left. 
so let's see what we can do let's click on one of these and here is the CSS for that and let's go ahead and add a left position over here right now we don't have any left position we just have set it as default so I think that's why it is not sticking to the left so now we'll set a left value over here and we'll set it to zero and uh, now it works all right so let me hover over this and we can see there's no problems so let's add this line of code to our CSS so let's close this and uh, go back to the theme code and uh, after top let's go ahead and type left zero and save it and uh, refresh our page and now we have this text changing button right here so when we hover over this we have a different text and in the HTML of this button you can add where this uh, button should take you so you can link another website or another post in your website over here so whenever someone clicks on this he or she will be taken to that place so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day